we are starting out with subtraction with regrouping, we want our students to have concrete models. So base 10 blocks, if you don't have access to those, to use printables or a place value disc so that they can build the problem. So what your students are going to do is they always build the top number. So I have 32 here on my board. I have three tens and two ones. I always start in my ones place. I have two take away four. I have two ones. Can I take four away? No, I can't. So I'm going to go to my tens place and borrow a 10 and move it next door, just like you would see on a problem. Now I have two tens and I have 12 in my ones place. The only problem is, is I can't have tens in my ones place. They don't belong there. So I'm going to trade this for 10 ones. On the grid, you can really see the making of 10 and things. You don't have to have the grid. You could just use a regular TO chart. Either one works. So now you'll see that I have 12 ones. Just like my problem says, now I can do my subtraction. 12 take away four is eight. And two tens take away one ten. I have one ten left, so my answer is eighteen.